Hi everybody and welcome back. Hey, today I'm going to do an unboxing of the Pecoron E600 that I picked up that just arrived through FedEx. And I'm going to apologize up front. We have thunderstorms going on, so you may hear a lot of rumbling in the background. And my birds are being extra noisy. I don't know if it's the thunder or what, but you might see them or hear them in the background. But I jumped on the bandwagon, picked up one of these little solar generators when I got it on an extremely good deal. And I also picked up some Renogy 100 watt solar panels. There were two in a package. Again, I got them from a really good deal. Wow, this is really boxed up well. It comes directly from the Pecoron website. And during Amazon days, I did not go to Amazon for this. I went directly to their website. They had a $30 off coupon. They normally run $329, which I think is a great deal for this uh, solar all-in-one uh, battery. It's got your battery. You can run AC, DC, and USB appliances and things off of it. So anyway, I did a lot of research. I watched a lot of YouTubes. And I decided that I wanted to keep my budget under $500. So what I did was I, I picked up this Pecoron, and the first thing on the top here is a nice case. It's really a nice case. Let's see what's inside. Okay, everything comes neatly in one package. I have the way you could charge it from your wall outlet. It's a little large, but you know, when you're getting something at such a good deal, they don't always integrate these things. Those are on the more expensive machines. Like I said, I wanted to keep it under $500. I also have the cigarette lighter adapter, so you can charge it from wall outlet or your cigarette lighter in your car. And I have another adapter. I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the book and find out what this one's for. I think this, I think you can charge it off a generator, but I'll have to double check. And then I have an MC4 connector so I could hook it to those solar panels. And I'm going to have to get a couple of connectors and um, an extension for it for my panels. Because I'm going to hook, in order to run this properly, I'm going to hook two panels in series, a second set of two panels in series, and then I'll run those parallel so I do not go over the maximum um, voltage open circuit. It has a instruction booklet that comes with it. Tells you your charge times. Okay, I have AC charging, car charging. Hmm. Oh, that's the other half of the, uh, the wall charger. Sorry. So wall charger, you, it takes about two and a half, 2.2 hours to charge. The electric a regular generator, 2.2 hours, car charger about seven hours. And if I use the 400 watts of solar that I have, it can charge in one and a half to two and a half hours. And of course that all depends on your, your conditions. Michigan, we get a lot of cloudy days. So, um, you know, it may take the top end of that, but it's a nice, really easy to read booklet. And of course, I haven't seen this before, so I have to do some more looking around and seeing what it's in. But I really like the case that this comes in. All right, so let's get into this a little further. It's got some really nice, <laughs> oh my gosh, really nice padding that it comes with. And I believe what's the only thing left is my little... Now, it's not super light. It's it's not bad. It, it weighs about 26 pounds, I believe. So it's something I can handle. That's the other thing, not just the cost, but I can handle it. So this is my new Pepperon. You can charge your phone if it's applicable to your phone just by laying it on top. I have three AC outlets. There is... This is a barrel plug that you can charge your solar with. And 
another glove there. I'm not sure the sizes. I'll have to look those up. But there's four ways to charge up a USB. And then here's your cigarette lighter where you put your cigarette lighter to, um, like, see, I want to pick up one of those um, uh, 12 volt DC powered refrigerators. So that's the other reason I picked this up. You have your DC out, your AC out. I'm not sure how you turn it on. Like, oh, there you go. I'm at a 65% state of charge right now. That's my, I just turned on the AC. And that charge turned on this section, the 12 volt section. So um, if you want to see, you know, good review videos, I watched Jasonoid and Hobotech and quite a few other ones, to be honest. And I felt that this was something that would meet my needs. Instead of a great big one, I can run, I've checked into things like I can run my freezer if it's summertime. I could run my refrigerator. I can run USB lights. I can recharge my phone. I can recharge my tablet. Um, so anyway, I felt that it would meet my needs and the price was right for me. To be honest, if I had the money, I would have bought two of them because when I was using one, say through the night, if I needed to use it to say run my freezer, I could have the other one fully charged. I could take the one I used all night, put it on my solar panels, and then have one that's freshly charged. I'm not an expert on this. I really don't know a whole lot about solar other than what I've been learning. And as far as I've gotten is learning how to properly install the solar panels so I don't overload it. And that's about it. So I cannot tell you how other ways, I know if I were to put this in series, it's too high to charge this. If I put it in parallel, it's too hard to it's it's too high to charge it based on I believe that's amps. And that's why I have to do a, they call it 2S, 2P and then I will figure it out. So, let me see if it gives you the basics here so I can give you a little bit information. Okay, solar I can use up to 400 watts of solar. The open circuit must be less than 25 volts. The range, operating range for photovoltaic cells is 32 to 95, 400 watt max, and must be less than 95 volts. That's what I was thinking. If I hooked all of my panels, the Renogy, now that's just the Renogy, in series, it was over the 95 volts. So I knew I could not do that. And there was something else. I had to watch the amps on it too. I think you can go up to 15 amps. And two of the Renogy hooked in the 2S2P series was only 10, a little over 10. It was less than 11. And you also have to remember, if you get really, really good solar weather in the summer, then, you know, or in the, in the winter, I should say, the cooler the panels, the more voltage and amps that you get out of them, I believe. I know voltage. Maybe I'm wrong on the amps, and somebody will correct me. But, um, and they, oh, they even give you a diagram on how to hook them up. That's kind of nice. D a different size solar panels. And let's see, what kind of battery? This is a, a LFP Life um, PO4 battery. AC output ports can power appliances that use 1200 watts of electricity or less. The DC ports supply a maximum of 120 watts or 12 volts at 10 amps. UPS is not supported on this, so it's, you know, that's on a more expensive machine. And it, you, it has passed through charging. That I do remember. Running time, 614 watts to 85%. And let's see, it has an uh, MPP charge control, which was important. And they want you to store it turned off. So anyway, that's just the basics on this. If you, it, like I said, if you really want good information, I'm not the one to see about this. I bought it based on other recommendations, but 
you know, we just had a tornado blow through here. Um, not even a week ago, it landed about eight miles from my house and continued to head east. And we are getting another thunderstorm today. So it's just something I can use to help out. I have a freezer full of meat outside. I would use this if everything went out right now, I would use it to keep my freezer from uh, getting too warm. Although I do keep layers of soda bottles in the bottom full of water, this would just enhance and keep it. I could turn it on maybe for a half hour, turn it off for a couple hours and so on to keep it from thawing out all of my food that is completely packed in there. So anyway, I have reached out to Pecoron. I'm going to see if they will give me a link to save you a little bit of money if you decide to order one of these. And honestly, if you have recommendations or corrections for anything I said today, I do appreciate them. And I'm really excited to try it out. So I was just excited to finally add this to my preparedness. Well, it's a small one, I get it, but for me, it's a start. You gotta start somewhere, right? Keep an eye on my community tab. If I see a really good deal on this, or if I find those Renogy panels on sale again, I will post them immediately into my community tab. So if you're looking for, you know, two 100 watt Renogy solar panels and you can pick them up for under 140 bucks, you know, I'm, I add to my prep slowly. One month I buy solar panels, the next month I might buy something like this. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the link below and have a great day.